What's up, guys? Hey, this is Christian Brindle with Sex Faga, Medicare Agent. And we're back with another video. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about what do you do when you are at anywhere between maybe 200, 300, 400 clients and you want to take your business to the next level. You are at the point where you're making a living. You're established. You, you, you are going to be here for the next decade opposed to maybe some industry changing activities. You're going to be here. Um, and we know that you're going to be here. You know you're going to be here. Maybe you're even just on the door, on the on the back end of potentially hitting a six-figure income. Maybe you're eighty, ninety thousand dollars a year. What do you do now? How do you take your business to the next level? How do you get more efficient? How do you essentially scale that business to move from point B to point C? Because point A to point B is essentially going from a new agent to where you're at now. Point B to C is essentially taking that jump to where you're making multiple six-figure incomes in your business, maybe even generating $400,000, $500,000 a year as an agency, um, and maybe even above and beyond that. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. But before I get into that, I need to talk to you guys about my favorite telemarketing lead company, and that is Lead Heroes, guys. Lead Heroes has got you covered when it comes to Medicare supplement leads, final expense leads, turning 65 leads. They can either do custom calling campaigns, you can pay by leads, you can do live transfers. They just got something for everybody, guys. Just because you watch this video here today, they're going to give you 10% off any order you make on their website. There's a link to their website down in the description of this video, as well as the coupon code you want to enter at checkout. So go ahead and check them out. Give them a try in your business. They should be at least a part of your marketing portfolio in 2021. Okay, guys, so let's talk about this. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to tell, I'm going to start this out by telling a story um, for, of myself because I've been there in my business. So when I first got started, as many of you know, I came into the business working with my dad. My dad had been a Medicare agent for 25 years at that point when I first came into the industry. And he taught me, my, my dad built his business cold calling cold calling people for Medicare supplements when they were 90 days out of turning 65 and, um, you know, maybe knocking on doors, maybe doing a direct mail drop every now and then. A lot of really old school tactics is kind of what my dad used to build his business. And so that's what he taught me as a 20 year old. When I came into the business, that's essentially how he taught me to grow my business. And so that's what I did. Um, it was a lot of pounding the pavement, getting my name out there, cold calling, making three to 500 phone calls on a Monday, making another three to 500 phone calls on a Tuesday, trying to schedule a week's worth of appointments and going out, a lot of windshield time. I started out going out on every single appointment, belly to belly, face to face, going to people's house. Um, and I did that for years. So I probably did that for four, if not five years into my career. And um, it didn't take long for me to be able to make six figures as an agent. I was making a six-figure income, and I did. That. I went from point A to point B on just hustling, grinding. Um, but I could have done it a lot faster if I was investing back into my business. What helped me get take that jump from go to just a six-figure agent to a multiple six-figure agent was I started doing things a little bit differently. Number one I, thing I started doing was I hired him staff. I hired employees. I started bringing on staff to kind of help me because it, at, 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 at a certain point in time, when you have hundreds upon hundreds of clients, essentially our, our, our game is not just to bring on a new client. Our game and, and really the, what, what you need to be focused on in your business is retention, right? You want to retain these clients. You want to have a long lasting relationship with these clients. You want to take care of them over a long period of time. You don't want to just earn their business for six months to a year. You want to earn their business for a decade. And to do that, you have to be there for them. You have to essentially be there to take their phone calls, answer questions. They're not going to remember everything that you told them when you first set them up. And they might run into issues with claims, billing issues. You have to be able to be there to help and provide that excellent customer service because if you don't, you're no different than just a salesperson. And they can find a salesperson on any block, on any corner. Um, you're nothing special at that point. Um, so bringing on staff to essentially help you to where you're not having to spend so much time on these little mundane tasks is vital if you want to get, go to the next level. If you have 400, 500, maybe even 600 clients, but I think you should hire people before that, um, you should, in my opinion, um, be focusing on building your business, but you can't do that if you're taking every call. Um, you're going to become 
just a retention specialist. You're going to become just a person that gets bogged down with taking each and every phone call. And so you need to hire staff to help you do that. And then also when you have enough leads, you need to hire staff to help you close all these leads and get the most out of your, the business. Um, it's going to get to the point where you have more business than you can handle and you need to be able to grow and expand. You have to hire people. So that's number one. Number two, you need to start branding yourself. As we go forward in the next five to 10 years, you're going to see more and more call centers pop up. You're going to see more and more groups like Walmart jumping in, Amazon, these giant corporations that are going to come in and they're going to try to squash you. Um, the competition is going to be at an all-time high over the next decade, in my opinion. You're going to see more Joe Namath companies, more, te- more of these cookie-cutter um, commercials trying to pick off your clients at every, at every, every opportunity that they get. So you have to brand yourself. And what does that look like? Well, I actually have a Feed the Beast course that you can get. So go and jump into my group, um, Six Figure Medicare Agent on Facebook, and ask for access to this. Um, It's a very, very cheap price, but it's something that I just put out um, in the last week or so that talks about how to do just that, how to build a brand online um, with, with, with social media, with YouTube channels, with blogs, with writing your own books, publishing books. And that's how you're going to take your business from point B to C, in my opinion. That's a big, big part of it. You have to essentially brand yourself because people are going to start Google searching you. And if they can't find any social proof, they're not going to want to do business with you as this younger generation ages in. So I don't think you should be doing this right away as a brand new agent. But once you get to a point where you have 300, 400, 500, 600 clients, you need to start branding yourself. You need to start creating a YouTube channel talking about Medicare, educating people on Medicare, have a very, very legitimate website where you have content all over it, whether it be blog articles, YouTube videos, books that you've written, whatever it might be. Um, And you need to essentially pump that content into the stratosphere. I think it was Grant Cardone that said, not one piece of content is going to make or break your business. One piece of content, one video, one blog article is like throwing a brick into the Grand Canyon and expecting to fill it up. Right, that's how infinite and vast the internet is today. So, Feed the Beast is all about um, creating so much content that you're pushing it out and you're trying to fill up the Grand Canyon as much as you can because you want to get noticed. You want people to be able to come across a brick that you throw into the Grand Canyon, and you have a much bigger, better chance of people finding your bricks as they're going through the Grand Canyon if you throw a million bricks in or a hundred thousand bricks in, opposed to just one or two. And branding yourself is really that putting out great helpful, high quality information for people to come across and stumble across, and then they're going to want to do business with you. Being able to find people that want to do business with you and call you is essentially the way to take that next step in your business. Because if you're busting your butt and you're making a hundred phone calls just to get one new client, that's not scalable. That's not maintainable. So you have to be able to build a brand online for you to be able to take that next step. And that's what you should be putting some of your focus on once you're getting to this point where you're looking to scale. The other thing you have to be doing is you have to be spending money on your business, on digital advertising, on direct mail, because spending money in your business is essentially like pouring gasoline on the fire and, 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 and that will cause it to essentially explode. Invest money back into your business. I always look at it like this. People that treat their business like a business it will grow like a business. If you treat it like a hobby or a side hustle, it'll only grow like a side hustle or a hobby. And it will essentially reach a point where you hit a barrier, you hit a ceiling and you can't maintain it. You can't, you can't lift yourself any higher than that because your business can't grow because you're not treating it like a business. At some point, pounding the pavement will only do so much for you. You have to be willing to invest in your business, do smart investments, of course, but you have to be willing to invest in your business for your business to be able to take that next leap. So those are the three things I would encourage you guys to concentrate on. Hire staff, start branding yourself and branding your company, and number three, make sure that you're spending money and investing into your business. This will help you go from a seventy-five to ninety thousand a year agent to a two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollar, if not seven figure a year agent. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, This was a topic I wanted to talk about for some time um, because people always talk about how to get started, but what do you do when you reach an impasse? What do you do when you get to a point where you're doing well, but you want to take that next step? These are some, these are some things that I've done in my own business that have allowed me to take that next step as a company and as a person and as a businessman. 
Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor. Drop a like so more people like you can find it easier. It helps the algorithm. Comment your thoughts down below on what you think. Did I miss anything? Is there something that you would also recommend for agents if you're an experienced agent? What questions do you have? Drop them down in the comment section. Let's get a dialogue going. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you're notified every time we post. Three videos a week is our norm, if not more. We'll see you next time, guys. Here's to your success. Thanks for watching.